My name is Curtis Anderson, and at present I work for Tracktown USA and Oregon Track Club Elite. Then we had a concrete grandstand, and then when we opened the bids, we found out that uh, it was going to cost us a good deal more money than we were authorized to spend. This is a very special place to me, um, and it's like an old friend. The first memory I have is 1984 NC2A Championships. Joachim Cruz uh, won the 8 and the 15, and there are about 14,000 people here. And they're all going, Cruz! It was a really cool uh, yell that kind of went around the whole stadium. And then last year, Raven Rogers, with her uh, anchor leg in the 4x4, to uh, secure the first women's triple crown in history. That was unbelievable. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, there's a lot of memories that, are, that go deeper than that. As much as I love this place, it's, it's old. It's dilapidated in parts, and it's, it's time to move into the next century. And, uh, so I had some initial uh, misgivings when I heard that the East Grandstand might not survive, because that's, uh, that was bittersweet, because that's an old friend. They first told us, me and Brittany, man, we cried. We were, yeah, we were really sad about it. We were just like, no, don't tear down Hayward. But everything that they're going to be getting, it's so needed, and it's going to be so beautiful. It's like bittersweet. It's very bittersweet. I'm very sad, because I mean, we grew up with this. Like, this is what we know, and... It's just so beautiful and relaxing, like, we would just come to the track and me and Brittany would be hanging out at the track, like, just look at the trees, it's so beautiful. <laughs> and then he showed us the renovations, we cried, but we were like, this is going to be so cool, we're super excited to come back, can we have a locker, like, can we, can we pretend like we're still on the team? <laughs> so I'm really excited to come back and when they have worlds, like, I know it's going to be crazy, so I'm really excited for that. The announcement about the renovation of Hayward Field was made on April 17, 2018. In 2020, a renovated field will replace the track where athletes have broken records and faced some of their toughest races, the place where Nike was formed. Although the Hayward Field we've known for the past 99 years will be gone, it will be better and it will be more advanced. New athletes will leave their marks in Tracktown, USA at the 2021 and 2022 NCAA Outdoor Championships as well as the 2021 IAAF World Championships. The magic that is made at Hayward will always be unique.